Welcome to Make Tinker Share. My name is Mark Schaefermeyer. Here in my shop, I'm going to show you how I replaced my fluorescent bulbs with TA LED bulbs. So let's get started. All right, well, that's a little dirty. Let's clean it off. So this fixture is a little different than the last one that I've done. It has three screws, one on each end and one in the middle. Take the bulbs out. Let's take a closer look at the guts here. So we have the ballast here with two lines coming off of it, coming over to these tombstones. And then the other lines coming over to the other tombstones. We have a switch on the front, on the middle I guess I should say. And then the power line comes in right here. So we don't care about the ballast in these ones. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut all the wires on it and get it out of the way. And that's just garbage, so we'll throw that out. And now with these two tombstones, you can see they each have one wire going to each one. Well, these LED bulbs, they only care about the electricity coming in on one end, line and neutral. So all I need to do is worry about getting power to one of these tombs two of these tombstones, one on each leg. So I could wire it up like this, line, neutral, but instead, if we look at these other tombstones, these ones are actually already wired up, jumpered across, only two wires to deal with. So I use these two, two tombstones and I move them down to this end here where the power comes in. And take these two tombstones and move them down here. All I need to worry about is hooking the white line and the black line from the switch up to each of these wires. So one to each. Doesn't matter which one either. So I'll just take and strip these back. A couple wire nuts. Now I want one of these, the yellow guy here. And the switch. This white yellow one. Line. There we go. I'll just leave this extra wire up in here. Put these wires underneath here. And I'll talk about those wires in just a minute here. Turn it over. Put our three screws back in the top. And we can just take our bulbs. Now, I haven't checked this, but one of these has writing on the end over here, and one of them doesn't. So this one has the writing on it. So I've been using this one and saying that that's where the line comes in. When I do put them in, I've metered them at this other end. Remember those lines, that, those wires that came inside here? I've metered it, and this is actually dead. There is nothing, there's no electricity on those two leads. So those are just used for, to support the bulb in there. So that's why I'm guessing that the power is all comes in from this one side. I haven't tried switching the bulb to see if it, if it matters, if it'll illuminate. Might be something we try. I don't know. Let's give it a go. So where's this going to happen? Explodes on us? Moment of truth. Nothing. So... My assumptions were correct. That, that side has the electricity on it. There we go. Simple as that. Turn it off. Put our other bulb in. And we're done. Time to hang it back up. Alright, so this is the other fixture that I have. Which is a lot different than the other one. It requires a lot more work. So, we cleaned it off, take out the old bulbs, and this one only has two screws, one on each side. This little piece comes off. So, inside here, I have the same thing a ballast, 
go ahead and remove it. Cut the line, toss the balance. So this one is a lot more complicated than the last one. So we still have our lines coming in. Power comes in, goes to the tombstones, and the switch, sorry, it goes to a switch, and then the tombstone. But I've got a problem on these tombstones. So the problem with these tombstones is that we have one wire coming in and one wire coming out and you can see down in here maybe there's a little piece of metal that's shunting the two together so both sides both of these terminals inside are shorted together so that they all carry one uh, continuous flow of electricity so what we need to do is we need to get rid of that shunt so we can put line and neutral in each side so let's get started so the way I do these is I've got two clips, two clips on each side that we need to pop off. So you get in there and pop those sides off. So I do one side, one end at a time. Now both of those are coming out. Now I'll move over to the other side. gets us to here. So now what we can do is we can pull this entire thing out and you'll see that we've got two metal clips that go up each side of the, of the tombstone. And inside we've got two wires. Just pull that clip off, pull the other clip off, and out come those wires. And here is the shunt that I was talking about. We can just throw that away. And we just need to take these metal clips, put them back in the way they came out, put them down inside the tombstone. Now this is the important part because you need to make sure that they are actually in there and seated the way that they should be. Because we don't want them touching like this to short them out. So we want them to sit down inside to be separated by that plastic piece in there. Once we have them there, then we can take the back piece and put it back in. Nice reassuring click. And then I've got my meter so that we can meter the two leads in there to make sure that they're separated. So I'm just going to take and turn this. So now I've got the two metal clips that I can meter. So on ohms, 200 ohms, I can take my two leads, red and black, whoop, put them together, we can see it shorts out. So all I want to see is con conductivity to see if this lead connect, conducts over to this lead. So I'm touching both metal leads and they're not shorting out. So we're good. This tombstone is good. Now on to the next one. And now we can rewire it. So in order to rewire it, here's our two wires, white and black, and we need to get white on one side, black on the other. So I'm going to reuse their jumper and jump from one side to the same side on the other side. All right. And now I need another jumper to jump the other side. So I'm going to take a little piece of the black here and create another jumper to go from black to black. Now we've jumpered the two. So now all I need to do is strip back these leads. go. And just white to white. But before I do that, I need to run these wires up underneath here. That would have sucked. Now that I got my wires through there, I can just take white to white and black to black. It doesn't matter which one I choose. I just have to reseat the tombstones. 
So with that one done, we can put the top back on. Put our two screws back in. Bolt it in. And try it out. Plug it in. Turn it on. Oh, it feels good. Well, that's how I changed out my light bulbs. I hope it was informative and you learned something. If you did, smash the like button. If you want, share it with somebody who's thinking about doing this to their shop. Maybe they'll find it useful. If you haven't already, please subscribe as I'll try and put out more videos, especially now that I have better lighting for it. Go ahead and check out some of the other videos that I have listed here. And thanks for watching. Let there be light.